Hello, welcome everyone. In my previous video, I talked about uh, virtual machine creation using portal and then I received a uh, few questions regarding uh, creating virtual machine using Terraform. So in this video, I'll talk about Azure virtual machine creation using Terraform, how you write Terraform. I've written Terraform module actually. I'll explain the Terraform module and then probably I'll just run and show you um, how the virtual machine will be created. Now, if you see my screen, um, what I usually do or, or in, in any um, enterprise level implementation or any practical implementation, you don't really write um, Terraform linearly. When I say linearly, it means you don't really write it, it it in one file or one folder, you actually create modules and modules helps you organize it better. It helps you improve your implementation. You can just write your module and then you can reuse those modules for other implementations. I can probably write one module and, and then uh, use my different variable files. And then based on my variable, I can use same module for all my dev prod, U80 and, and probably different regions, whatever I want. So the module makes it uh, reusable. It makes it easy to implement, easy to manage. So what I've done, I've written module and using this module, you can actually um, just um, run Terraform, apply and then create all the resources. Now what I've done, I've created two folders. One is Terraform module and the other is Terraform resources. Terraform resources is the folder in which uh, from which I actually um, run Terraform plan, apply and everything. Terraform resources is the folder where I have my main TF file, which calls these, these modules, which calls these modules. And then eventually the resources are created. And then I have my, I have my Terraform modules folder in which I have my modules created. Now, because you're creating a virtual machine, now to create a virtual machine, you would need certain resources, you need a resource group, you need NIC, network interface card, unique virtual network, because this, this virtual machine has to be part of a virtual network. You probably need, it's not mandatory, you probably need NSG also, but I'm not creating an NSG, I'm just creating the bare minimum, minimum resources. But once you have knack of what these, this Terraform script is doing, you can eventually customize it based on your requirement. So in my Terraform modules, I have created two folders. One is network and one is virtual machine. In my network, I'm creating my network resources. In my virtual machine, I'm creating my virtual machine. Why do I have two folders? I have two folders because I'm creating two modules and then I want to reuse it. So in my network, I have my main, the usual ones, my main uh, file, my variables and my output file in my main file, I am creating a resource group. Why I'm creating a resource group in my network file, I can create a new module also, I can create one module resource group, one module network and one module virtual machine. Um, but just to keep it simple, I'm creating a resource group, I'm creating a resource group, I'm creating a virtual network and I'm creating a subnet. What I'm doing is I'm creating a loop using count.index because I'm creating multiple subnets. I'm just showing it for this. I don't really need a lot of subnets, um, but just to show you how you can create multiple subnets, I am uh, using this count.index and then the usual variable files has all the required variables that I have. Now, other thing that I wanted to show you is in the variables, you can apply the condition. Now what I'm doing, I'm applying a condition where I just want my resources either in East US2 or Central US. And you can use any, any um, condition. For example, you know, let's assume I'm creating this in my dev environment and I do not want uh, my name to not have those variables. I can use any condition to validate those things that is called validation. And then I have my outputs using output. I'm, I'm creating the output because my other modules will eventually call these values. So these are these files. And then I have my virtual machine, which is eventually creating my virtual machine. Um, I'm creating a public IP. I'm creating network interface card. I'm creating an SG. I'm creating association because I'm, I'm associating my network interface card with my NSG. And eventually I'm creating a virtual machine.
and uh, things you th th this you can easily find on the terraform uh, documentation but this is what i'm doing now the main key part of calling these um, modules is for example let's take this example of the main file now if i go to my terraform resources in my terraform resources i have my main tf i have my terraform tf maps and variables files the main.tf is the file which actually has my terraform backend information terraform provider information and then i'll, I'll talk about it later and then i have my modules my module vnet and module linux I, this is windows i can just name windows i was testing few things so name really doesn't matter now um i'm calling my module and here this is this is where i tell it this is from where my module files are and this is from where you need to fetch the files and this is where the values are now how do you relate it to that file right so let me open this up like this and now you see my main.tf which is in my terraform resources right so this is my main.tf and in this i have my vnet01 which is calling terraform modules network this is my terraform modules network now um you know i am i'm using variables for example my resource group my resource group name will be rg name location will be location similarly vnet name and and vnet address and stuff so my rg name this is my rg name this variable is expecting a value how will it get this value this is what i do i write my rg name and it gets my value so this is actually this so um for example um to remove the confusion let me do this if i do my resource group or resource uh resource group name let's assume this is the variable that i'm using then it should be here this should be something like this now this is the variable which needs a value to create this particular resource and this will be getting value from these variables i mean this again i'm using variable because that's the standard i want to i don't want um i don't want static values i want to keep it dynamic and then i'm using terraform.tfs but i hope you this this concept is clear now let me revert everything let me revert everything okay now this is what i do the other thing i'm doing is then i have my linux and um, i have my linux module which is again the virtual machine folder that i have uh, in my modules virtual machine folder i have and if i go to my main.tf these are the values for example virtual machine public and uh, ip this these are the values that it gets from here right now the key thing that you might notice is i'm calling my subnet and this subnet is passed from my module vnet01 how is it is passed is in my module which is my network i have my outputs and in my output i have my subnet id now this module when run will create all these outputs right now these outputs can be fetched using module dot vnet zero one dot subnet id and now this is a list and i'm i'm having multiple values so that is why i'm using three but this is what i'm doing module vnet zero one and subnet id right and this is what i do this is why i write depends on because i don't want my terraform to fail because it tries to call it and this resource doesn't exist now other thing that i'm doing is because as a best practice when you are running any code when you're writing any code any sensitive information you should not have it visible in your script so when you're creating your virtual machine you have your username you have your password and i do not want those values to be to be visible so what i'm doing i have already created a, uh, a key vault my key vault 
uh, name which I've in my Terraform TFRs. I've created my Terra uh, my my key vault, and I have created two secrets. One secret is the virtual machine uh, user, and the other secret is the virtual machine password. So I'm using data source, and I'm I'm calling my key vault, and I'm calling my secrets, and then in the username and password, I'm using data Azure RM key vault secret and password, right? And then the final key is my terraform.tfrs. In my terraform.tfrs, I am passing on these values. These, these all variables are eventually getting value from my terraform.tfrs. And there you go. Your terraform script is ready. I can go to my terraform tf terraform resources. As I told, my terraform resources has all the all the um, script i mean it is it has the, the parent uh, module file main file and this is from where i'll be calling my terraform commands now if you're familiar with terraform you first have to initialize your directory you see dot terraform which means i've already initialized my directory when you initialize it actually reads uh, it actually reads your backend information it reads your provider it downloads that provider and it, it initializes those modules and then you can run terraform plan terraform plan actually it's not mandatory but i kind of run it always just to ensure that i am creating or the script is doing what i'm expected expecting it to do Give it a minute. Now, uh, now you see my Terraform plan output is is out. It tells me whatever you see with plus is uh, means it is uh, it will be creating. Now this is the first time I'm doing. I'm running it, so you do not have anything to update. But if you have had anything, I mean, if the script was updating anything, it would have tilde, or if it was deleting, it would have minus. So this tells me it is creating how many resources? Let's see, let's see. It is creating twelve resources. What all resources it is creating? It is creating a vnet. It is creating a subnet. It is creating my subnet1 subnet2 because in my terraform.tfrs i am declaring multiple subnets just to show you that i can create multiple subnets i can run loop i'm using count but then you can have for loop and for each as well i'm creating my resource group and i am creating my virtual machine cool now last thing what i do is terraform apply now when you run terraform apply it asks you to uh, confirm that you want to create and you can use uh, hyphen hyphen auto approve to make sure that the command does not ask you for that input here it doesn't really look that it is really important but if i'm creating a pipeline which i'll probably do in the next video if i'm creating a pipeline i do not have an option of manual intervention i do not want a manual intervention in my pipeline in my commands i will use hyphen hyphen auto approve and my pipeline will eventually create cool so there it is uh, it will eventually run and it will create these resources i hope this helps if you have any further questions let me know and i'll get back fine this is creating so have a good day and hope you have a good one thank you